And uh, in the half court defensively, I thought we had some breakdowns that allowed them to get some good looks and they, and they capitalized on them. Coach Darius just said that this team's got to decide what it wants to be. Does that resonate with you? Is that a question you ask of them? Absolutely. Definitely a question I've asked of them. You know, you know, we have to make that decision. Every team has come to that point. We have to make that decision about how good you're capable of becoming. And then you move towards that. And so, you know, we have to take a hard look at ourselves and we have to work to get better and then we have to go in that direction. Back to back losses, like what will you focus on in practice over the next week? Well, focused on defensively, we got to be better. You know, I thought we gave up two higher field goal percentage for us, for them defensively. And then offensively, you know, we have to just continue to work on execution and clean up some things on the other end. I thought we did a good job of taking care of the ball for the most part. I just didn't think we, we uh, you know, had, we had some, too many, you know, dry spells where we just don't execute, you know, well enough to, to still, you know, put points in the boy consistently. I know there were other moments in the game. It's not like one play led to the loss. But with Ty, just, he just probably figured he was going to get hacked from behind and just kind of just it was a yeah, he's a freshman. Mistake on his part, yeah. Freshman, and he made it, you know, just I feel bad for him in that situation. You know, we talked about it at the end of the game. Just, you know, you just dribble the clock out, and then when they come come grab you, just make sure you're pivoting and, and being strong with the ball. He just got it across half and kind of just stopped waiting to be fouled, and, and they did a good job. They didn't foul, they just went right for the ball. Brendan Mahan didn't score his first points until that first three, and then he had the second three, and then you guys lost. But what does that say about him for him to, you know, keep going throughout the game and eventually hit? Well, Brandon's a terrific player, and uh, you know he needs, he, you know, he makes big plays, and he did it again tonight down the stretch for us. You know, he gave us a chance to win the game, and I didn't think we were playing our best basketball, but he still gave us a chance, you know, down the stretch, you know, to get up because of some, some because of the shot making ability, and uh, you know, I'm just proud of him, and I just want to see him continue to grow as a player. But you need more consistency from him, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. We need more consistency from our perimeter guys in general. I mean, just to have those guys. You know, night in, night out, kind of have an idea of who they are because, you know, they can be, you know, so good. You know, and, uh, but you, what we want to see, though, is we want to see that, you know, on most nights. And uh, tonight was one of those nights where, uh, you know, our perimeter players really, I mean, you didn't feel them out there until Brandon, you know, made those shots at the end. And, you know, our offense and our system is designed for those guys to, to thrive in it and, and to be a little more, you know, aggressive and, and to make plays. And uh, like I said, but you also give the other team a lot of credit. You know, defensively, you give Temple credit for their game plan and, and the things they did to kind of slow our guys down. Now you kind of have this unexpected week off. Just Is that good? Is that not good that you don't get back out on the court? Do you need a few extra days to get ready for Memphis? Or? Uh, well, you don't want to keep playing. I mean, we've had enough stoppages. <laughs> you know, we like to be playing games. And so now here we go again with another week off. And so... Uh, you, know, you know, there's nothing we can do. Like I said, you can only control the things you can control. So we're going to work on, you know, getting better every day in practice and trying to make the most out of the time that we'll have. Coach, you said the, the perimeter players were stymied a bit earlier in the game. You um, uh, mentioned Temple stepping up, but uh, some of your guys down low stepped up, and Bakke had a pretty strong game down low. You know, Bakke's playing well. I mean, he's been playing well for us all year, and uh, he definitely has a presence for us defensively, but he's also given us a lot offensively as well down in the low post. So really happy with his play, and, and, uh, <clears throat> and I still see his opportunity to get better as well. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. No problem. Uh, Coach, we're also uh, mm -hmm. we're talking about going from this game, um, from the SMU game into this game, you know, trying to get a little bit more than five assists, trying to get more to the foul line, and trying to be a bit more aggressive. I feel like you achieved that tonight. Still didn't come up with the win, unfortunately. But going into the Memphis game, what would you see like, like to see improved? Well, I want to see us continue to improve defensively. I think we got to be a better defensive team. And like I said, offensively, I think we still can be better. You know, I think as our guys start to – to just get a better feel for each other as this year progresses as they will, I can see that just coming together for us as well. It's just a function of just time together with each other, with some of the new guys we're blending with our older players. But as that happens, the, chem the chemistry will continue to get better, and I think we'll be a better team. A week ago, you talked about the importance of the Michigan game to your overall resume. What does a loss like this and the way in which it happened do to that resume? Uh, you no, know, I hadn't had a lot of time to think about it, but it's not a good loss for us. I mean, because, you know, our, every loss is a bad loss for us at this time of year. You want to win as many games as you can. And uh, so I don't think it's good, but we have to figure out a way to bounce back from it. If we use it to pop in the right way, I think we can get better from it, to be quite frank, and then we'll move forward from there. Does that put more pressure on you now with Memphis? You've got to protect the home court now you've dropped this one. No, absolutely. We've got to protect the home court for sure. And uh, we've lost now two games at home, you know, Oklahoma and this game. 
And, uh, we, you know, that's one thing that we've always talked about in our program here is, is understanding to take advantage of home court and uh, making a tough stand here. And so we have to get back and right the ship and get back to playing winning basketball at home and, and, move, <coughs> and then move forward from there. Coach, is there something you wanted to take away on Temple with the last basket by done that defensive possession? What were you trying to? Well, reverse? I thought we did a good job defensively. We just closed too short on me, hit the three. I mean, everything was fine. I thought defensively we were in good position. We just closed too short. You know, we should have came out there and guarded them. And uh, for whatever reason, we got it. We closed a little too short, and we gave him some room, time, and space to shoot it and, and give the young man credit. He knocked it down.